Let's prepare on the tension splice and lag angle. So now we are going to see on the left out topic of the tension members unit only that is tension splice and lag angle. So what does this tension splice means? If a joint, uh, it is a joint for a tension member, where we provide this type of joint means when the length of the member required is not available in the uh, Indian standards. Okay, so when the length is beyond that limit means we'll be normally joining no so we'll be joining by welding or we'll be joining by bolting or riveting no so the same things only they call it as the tension splice uh, we use cover plates for joining in butts and all but joint and all no? so that cover plate can be uh, called as splices or some splice plates can be used in particular okay so this only they call it as a spice plate and tension splice so there is nothing different in this topic and here just I have drawn a diagram to show you the lap joint and butt joint here. So what is the main thing to be noted here is uh, the strength that is in this connection. No, So this connection, the strength should be at least equal to the design load of that bolt or of that rivet. Okay, So it should be like that so that the connection is very strong. Okay, So this is the important point in this tension splice. Now the next thing is the lag angle. So this lag angle is what means it is just to increase the efficiency of the outstanding leg. So we already saw a uh, single angle and legs outstanding leg like the similar thing in the previous chapter. No, So the same thing. So I have drawn a diagram here. So let us consider this as a plate and there is an angle here. Okay. So this angle is only called as a normal angle will be connecting for um, some connection like beam to join connection like that and all we'll be using so now in the other side i've, I've drawn a small angle no so that angle only we call it as a lug angle so why we are providing this means normally when we are giving a connection to an angle or uh, to any plate the outstanding leg will be somewhat weaker only so to enhance the efficiency of that outstanding leg we are providing another angle of very smaller length so this angle only we call it as the lug angle so it should be always short length of the angle only should be used here okay uh, but there will be a uh, a saving of gusset plate is done here with this lug angle provision uh, but what is the disadvantage here is as we are connecting another bolt because we are connecting here another bolt with the plate no so it increases the number of bolts so that the efficiency may be reduced so nowadays they won't use this lug angle so in practical they are not using it but as it's given in the uh, theoretical sessions we need to see something about this okay so here just the diagram is given here and a1 is nothing but the area of the connected leg and a2 is the area of the outstanding leg of the normal angle not lug angle okay so now we'll see this important points uh, related to this lug angle so at least a minimum two bolts should be given for attaching a lug angle okay so here i have given one uh, bolt with the plate so let us consider this as a gusset plate and another bolt with the the main angle so here at least two bolts is given so that should be one condition and the strength of the lug angle no so it should be at least 20 percentage more than the force in the outstanding leg okay so this points are very important the next four points i'm going to tell is important uh, so this is in the case of the lug is connected to the gusset okay so here the lug is connected to the gusset here no so if that is the case means the strength of the lug angle should be at least 20 percentage more than the force in the outstanding leg so how to find the force in the outstanding leg means normally they'll be giving the force in that uh, angle in general they'll be giving with the area we can find the uh, specific load that is occurring in the outstanding angle so only i have mentioned here a1 and a2 so the load in the outstanding leg will be equal to a2 by a1 plus a2 just the ratio of that area into the load they have given so let us consider this whole term as x okay so if we consider that as x means the strength in our lug angle should be at least 1.2 x okay so this is when the lug is connected to the gusset plate but the when is uh, lug is connected to the main angle so main angle when it is connected the strength should be at least 40 percentage increasing so only i have written as 1.4 x so they may ask in percentage or they may ask in this 
decimal places also so be clear with the both so it is 20 percentage in the uh, previous one and 40 percentage in the when connected with the main angle okay so this is in the case of when connecting to a cassette plate the next thing when the main member is a channel so channel means we know a channel like a uh, shape will be like this so instead of this plate if you are connecting a channel here means uh, the first value should be 1.1x that is 10 percentage increase and the luck connected to the main angle strength should be equal to 1.2x 20 percentage increase so these values are important so this is all enough about the lug angle thank you and keep watching for the next lecture on compression members